welcome. As you can see, we have a new surface that we're working on today because, well, I forgot to take a video of me painting the little shelves that we've been doing the whole time. So, same paint, same surface, same finish, same primer. This primer has been given a little bit of time to cook off. I mean, dry. Cook off sounds more fun. Whether or not you have to actually sand your surface, it depends on what you're using. There are some that you always need to sand afterwards. There are some that say you don't need to sand them. There's some where they recommend it, but it's okay. In this case, this specific brand says that if you wait longer than 12 hours, you need to rough up the surface with a Scotch-Brite. Which is in this pocket right here. So, we got the scotch Brite. It says, lightly rough up the surface, and that's really what it means. I mean, it's just, you know, go at it like you're trying to scour a lightly used pan. Just circular motions. It takes a little bit, you see, a little bit of gray. It takes a little bit of the paint off, roughs up the surface a little bit, because if you let it dry all the way, it smooths out, and so it's not as good for the paint to adhere. This surface has been left to dry for about five hours. Does it need to be sanded? Probably not. Are we going to do it anyway? Absolutely. It'll still give us a better finish. We've got our surface sanded down. It's dry to the touch. We brushed it off afterwards, you know, you sand, you get rid of the dust, you can use a shop broom, you can even use one of those tacky cloths, it's a piece of cheesecloth or just thin muslin that's got some wax imbued in it so it picks stuff up. You can use compressed air, but I don't recommend compressed air because then that's just going to blow it everywhere. Yeah, I suppose if you've got a downdraft system that's pulling that compressed air, go right ahead, but... In this situation, a brush is better. Speaking of brushes, I've got a nice brush this time. It's got real fancy bristles. These are polyester, polystyrene, they're poly something. These are not natural bristles, they're you know, synthetic. And I've got my paint. Notice, I've only got about an inch of paint in there, so it's only going to go about an inch onto the brush. Always remember to get the edges, don't let any big drips happen. Keep in mind with the grain, with the grain, this grain is running this way, so long smooth strokes, like you're painting the fence with Mr. Miyagi, not painting the house, or whatever it was. I only saw that once. I know I'm a millennial. I should have seen it more times. All right, well, I've got about 15, eh, probably 13 linear feet to do. So to make your life better, we're gonna speed this up and I'll see you when it's all done. Already, bye. Tomorrow feels a year away, like the seconds, the beginning and the end. But if in time it's yesterday, your picture's gonna bring it home to me again. The world is waiting up. The world oh, starting. <laughs> All right. Well, as you can see, we are finished here. Take a lovely look at the product. In conclusion, when you're doing this, surface prep. Sand down what you're doing before you put primer on it. Make sure to wipe it down. Primer. Use the right primer, long smooth strokes, that's been sort of a big thing the whole time. Short, choppy, terrible idea. All over the place, make it all smooth when you're using a brush. Use the right brush for the job. You know, sand things down in between. Make sure that you've got the right kind of surface finish. Use the right kind of primer, the right paint. Take your time. Especially with this project, you know, some stuff is a little bit rough, not everything lines up absolutely perfect, but as the old adage goes, primer and paint makes me the carpenter I ain't.
All right, well, that's about it for today. I'll see you later on, um, well, I guess the next video. I don't know what it's going to be on. See you later. I wanna take it on it, I'm falling The cityscape by night, wanna catch it Rollers Go in a W shape so you get all over the place because they leave such terrible, terrible marks when you're done. If you don't have this crazy random pattern, everyone's gonna go, Oh, you roller brushed it. Oh, nice. <laughs>